Hey guys, welcome back to Xamarin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to implement Twilio OTP verification inside our Xamarin Forms application. So you have to be in Twilio.com registration page at first in order to create one account of your own. So we are going to start our free trial by exiting the license agreement and then the verification code is going to be in inside your gmail account you have to confirm it then replace it with your phone number along with the country after clicking on verify button it should send me one verification code inside my phone of that number which we have entered so this is my verification code which was sent i'll submit it then do you write code yes inside csap use tulo in the project then we are going to send a receive sms or you can do a lots of things uh, when it is paid so this is the dashboard screen you will get whenever we log in now we are going to embed twilio.net standard code inside our xamarin forms .net standard project we can just use .net core code 2 so this is the dotnet core code which works great inside our dotnet standard xamarin forms project so i'll just copy it this is the blank xamarin forms application which i have named it as twilio xf that is xamarin forms then i'm going to paste it over here with the same code now we need to integrate one plugin that is twilio inside your dotnet standard project only so I'll select it and then put it inside my .NET standard project. You don't need to add that plugin inside your iOS and Android project. Now let's integrate that message resource component. You can see over here we have from phone number and to phone number. So from phone number is the sender and the to is the receiver. So sender and the receiver can be same but our account is in trial mode so it shouldn't allow me to access that let's copy that the requirement that is account SID this is the authentication token that it requires for creating any message request so if you run the application then it should throw me error like the two number would be like it is not a valid phone number the two number so it requires from phone number to be a valid test sender so in order to do that we're gonna change our from phone number to some specific phone number how actually it is done then so clicking on get a trial number it will let me to choose the number so this is the true chosen number from the system itself we can just use it for doing test and if it is like paid then we can just use our own phone number to send messages to that same phone number this is my receiver now if you want to add some extra phone number and send the, that phone number with the message then this is the way where you will be verifying a new phone number and then sending message to the receiver let's run the app it does all its authentication then it should provide me the id which is like su successful response then our next work is to embed OTP verification so this is the random number that will be generated like four digit random number whenever this page loads up and then this random number is going to be sent like this way and in usual OTP verification we have seen that your OTP number is something like random number from the message that you will get now the fun part is we are going to add small logic that is if else condition so this random otp this method should be called whenever the button is clicked so let's design our ui at first that is one entry with name as enter the otp as usual otp verification screen that we usually see which has one button let me put that whole entry as well as button in center and expand whenever that button is clicked at first let's make a global variable 
this global variable will be updated as soon as this page is loaded that is it gets updated every time per screen now this is the name that i have used in my entry whenever user enters 1 2 3 4 5 then it will be matched with the otp that was generated then it should go to the dashboard page if the verification is okay or else it should show me alert that your otp was wrong so it's a very basic if and else condition where we are going to validate our user entered otp with the otp that was sent through the twilio message this is the otp verification that was sent to me using twilio whenever the app loaded now let me enter that otp from my mobile so after the validation is done then i should go to the dashboard that's all